Say you have a woman with vaginal dryness who has a history of breast cancer and does not want to take hormones. What solutions do you have for her? There's a bunch. So lubricants <clears throat> are very popular. They are designed to reduce friction and discomfort from dryness during intercourse. And uh, they can be water-based and those um, and there are some that contain gl glycerin and some that don't. Uh, glycerin, <clears throat> and everything's got its own benefits. Glycerin can be very drying quickly, uh, and, it can, and it can cause irritation. Um, you have silicone-based lubricants, and these last a long time you have to sort of wash them out and sometimes they can be sticky and, and, and cloying. You have to be careful when you do uh, oil-based <clears throat> on even natural, like um, olive oil that sometimes is done and other types of natural fats. Those can be problematic if you need contraception and, you, and you're using latest condoms. Uh, they can be compromised by these substances. Whereas if you do silicone-based lubricants, that usually shouldn't be the case. Uh, and now I am staying away from any hormone, as you were saying. Um, there are now sound wave treatments uh, being marketed uh, with some literature behind it. And uh, there are, of course, um, laser-based treatments where the um, goal is to increase the blood supply to the t uh, vaginal tissues and uh, and get some sort of rejuvenation effect. Uh, and that's um, pretty much it because even when you <clears throat> there is not a whole lot of uh, herbal compounds that can bring back uh, vaginal lubrication. That's very helpful. Oh, just to add, I mean, we're saying no hormones, but, um, you know, the, the estrogen suppositories, if the concern of uh, the person asking the question is increasing estrogen levels, it's really a negligible effect. Um, it, it's more of a local effect, just to sort of clarify that. Yeah, thank you for adding that. And in fact, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology is uh, totally above board in supporting the use of local vaginal estrogen in breast cancer survivors. It's something that I still discuss with oncologists, but most oncologists that I work with are fine with a vaginal ring, for instance, in the vagina, or even uh, testosterone cream, especially in, in patients that are on an aromatase inhibitor. So thank you for that clarification. Well, if we're going to hormones now, <laughs> <laughs> I saw him perk up. <laughs> Change the, the music, but um, interestingly enough, they even patented a uh, dehydro DHEA vaginal suppository lately that I hear good things about. Estriol, yes. yeah. Hmm? Yes, there's a number of randomized trials. I don't know that we have randomized trials in breast cancer survivors, but lots of randomized trials with uh, vulvovaginal atrophy.